The potent sense of deterioration, which I think there certainly is now, arises less from iterations of the inherently uncomfortable relation between state secretiveness and construction of choice and the democratic impulse to know and decide for oneself than from the flagrant degeneration of the public media across the better established democracies and the pitiful quality of citizen awareness in most aspects of the world which bear upon their life chances in the medium or longer term. Back again in the last session. The result is a political infantilization of most of the citizenry, not exactly behind their backs, but largely independently of their own conscious experience. It's reasonable to see that as a collective failure in political education, and especially in the continuous adult self-education on which a democratic polity necessarily depends. From that angle, the political genius of the last three decades has been to present a steady weakening in political comprehension as a process of corruption of the citizens by the citizens themselves, carried through, allegedly, for the citizens. A spontaneous and even enthusiastic abandonment of political self-education as a sensible ambition for adults, let alone a shared civic duty. That presentation has been a stunning political success, not least in including the issue of just whom it benefits. You can think of what's driven it as competing business models of media enterprises, newspapers, television, internet service providers, operating under political license, if not at political behest. But what isn't clear, and this is where I'm going to end, is how to think about it if you view the political outcome itself with horror, but don't have the imaginative flair to conceive a rival business model which might revitalize civic comprehension and perhaps even in some measure fortify civic morale by doing so. Here, if anywhere, the need to fight back effectively has become overwhelmingly urgent. But to do that, you would first have to see how. And you would also, going back to the last session, have to see where. I don't myself think that we have made much progress in either of those respects, but we certainly need to do a lot better very fast.